Well, I got a treat for you. So you already know how to use Power Apps, Power Automate, right? They're awesome, amazing. And you got lots of great skills with those. And now you keep hearing all these rumblings about Copilot Studio, right? This new thing where I'm going to build custom agents, whether they are conversational agents or autonomous agents. And you're like, all right, I want to learn that thing, but man, I don't really want to start over and learn something totally new. Great news. Well, about, I don't know, let's say 70% of everything in Copilot Studio is built on top of the Power Platform. That's probably an exaggeration. That's a shame number, but you get the idea. There is so much of Copilot Studio that is using your Power FX formulas, your Power Automate skills, um, and then all of your business logic, all your data connectors, all of that is really built off the same stuff we use in Power Apps and Power Automate today. So, Microsoft and I worked together for the last few months to build this amazing course that is completely free, that is right, completely free on YouTube that will walk you through demos of a bunch of really cool agents. And then because who hates it when you watch a demo and you're like, man, I could never build that. <laughs> Both the agents that I demo in the course, we then build step by step by step by step by step by step, you get the idea, together all the way through. And while the course is tailored for a beginner's outlook, right? Like it's kind of, it's meant to bring you from nothing to I can build agents myself. The great news is, is that I went in and I sprinkled a bunch of complexity throughout all of the different builds so that not only do you learn the core skills, but you start to do and build some of the really cool things, right? Like we do some complex O data. We've got variables that are moving across different things. We also get into like uh, using Power FX formulas to build dynamic adaptive cards. Like I learned so much over the course of building this. So even as a guy who built a bunch of agents, I learned things. So I'm positive you will too. So the easiest way for you to take advantage of the class, if you just go over to powerapps911.com slash MCS, there I've built a landing page that has all the different content, right? So it's got an overview and it's got a link to each of the 29 different videos. Yeah, we broke it up in a bunch of different pieces to make it really consumable bite-sized chunk, bite chunks. But then there's a video there and a description. And so the first wave of those are out now. Uh, we released seven of them and it's really about what you're doing with those, right? So it's kind of like an overview of the course. It is then an intro to Copilot Studio. Then Jack Robotham joins us and he talks about some of the statistics on why agents are important and how many of the world is going to have. It's a lot. Um, then we get into the different skills that you're going to use and how they are applicable. And then we do those demos. So you'll see a conversational agent demoed by me, right? So that's one where it's going to get in there and we're going to be like an IT support agent. But not only does it have knowledge, but it also can allow you to take actions. It can also make calls out to data sources and things like that, right? All kind of built on top of SharePoint. So right, I feel like that's where a lot of you are going to start. Then I demo my autonomous agent, all built with a Dataverse backend. And what that one is going to do is that is going to do incident triage. So we're going to have an incident report app. And so people fill out their incident reports and they go into the system. And then the autonomous agent uses the rules and the guidance we're providing it to actually triage it. It calls an AI prompt to look at the images so you can get a better idea of what's going on in the scene, gets the whole picture, and then escalates as necessary. So instead of letting the user self-select who should get it escalated to, we're letting the agent process and think about that for us. So I'm going to show you both of those in demos. And remember, later on, I'm then going to show you how to build them. Not, not in this first seven videos, but in later sections. Um, so then after that, Jack shows us something uh, with deep thinking in there. And then, you know, we just kind of get that stage set, right? But at that point, you're like, all right, cool. I understand all the things going on. And so then the next wave, which is going to come out in just a couple more days, maybe like one more day, um, the next seven or seven-ish videos will be all about building that first conversational agent. So lots of excitement. So the easiest way for you to keep up, right? PowerApps911.com slash MCS. That page will have all the links, all the descriptions, all the fun details from me. And we'll also have some little bonus stuff, right? Because I got lots going on in this Copilot Studio space. I really believe as low-code Power Apps and Power Automate makers, like this is the next thing, you know, agents. And we have a huge advantage because so much of Copilot Studio is built on our dear friend Power Apps and Power Automates. All right. Anyway, go check those out. Go learn those. Go start building agents.